Hello friends, family, and internet strangers, Stephanie here, and today I've got two really simple crock pot recipes for you. This video is part of a collaboration filled with crock pot meals hosted by Tiffany over at Small Town 6, as well as Jessica Myros. I will have both of their channels linked in the description box below, as well as a link to the playlist so you can check out all of the amazing crock pot meals. Let's get right into mine. First up, I have got a slow cooker, sausage, and peppers. I am using my Instant Pot as my slow cooker. If you are not aware that this is an option on your Instant Pot, take a look, see if it has the slow cook setting on there. And I didn't want to use my Instant Pot lid with this, so I got a really cheap, like $12 Instant Pot slow cooker lid that goes on the top of this, and that made it super easy because I live in a small apartment. I don't have a lot of room for all the kitchen gadgets, so any that I can combine together is going to help me out. So all I am doing is sauteing my sausage in a little bit of olive oil, just browning it up on the sides, and that's going to help amp up the flavor in this a little bit. It's not necessary. If you don't want to saute sausage, you can just put sausage in the sauce and let it slow cook for a little bit longer. This was a last minute addition to my meal plan. I didn't decide that I was going to do this until this day when I was making this. So I had not prepped anything in advance. I hadn't even thawed my sauce out of the freezer. So I just put it in a pot and then poured it in once it was thawed. So I do make my own spaghetti sauce. You could use jarred sauce. This would actually be a really great way to flavor up a jarred sauce and amp it up a little bit. I will link the video to my homemade sauce recipe down below. I show this on my channel pretty much all the time. But if you are new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie. I do cooking videos and road trip videos. I love doing both of those things. I have been doing a lot of weekend getaways lately. So I've got a lot of road trip content coming up and I just posted one last week. So check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but I have got my family's sauce recipe in a previous video and I link that down below every time I show it. I also put the little card up on the screen there for you. And then since this was a last minute addition and I hadn't prepped anything, I wanted to get this cooking. This was already about four o'clock in the afternoon and I was just gonna do this on high for about three hours because I figured that was all it would need for the sausage to cook through. So this would be great if you let it go low and slow all day. It would add a lot of flavor to the sauce, but this still tasted good. So I just added all of my onions and peppers as I cooked them. I added some garlic powder, and then I decided towards the end of this cooking that I also wanted meatballs in here. So I took some out of the freezer, threw them in the microwave, and then put them right in here because I knew they wouldn't have time to defrost and then this is what it looked like when it was all done you could cook pasta right in here with the sauce but i cooked mine on the side you could also serve that on a sandwich and that would also be a really good option i had not had pot roast in a really long time i definitely have not had it in the year almost a year that i have lived in this apartment i don't think i ever made it in my previous apartment and maybe we had it once when I was home in 2020, but even that I don't really remember. So I have not had pot roast in several years. So when I saw chuck roast on sale, I knew I had to take that opportunity and decided to do a pot roast for this video. And this, what I'm doing right here is prepping my veggies. And I have been keeping a bag of veggie scraps in my freezer that I just add to as I chop up veggies. So that's where I'm putting all of the ends of my celery here and all the leaves. Eventually, I will figure out how to make a veggie stock of some sort and do that with all of the scraps that I keep in my freezer. But this was actually me chopping these up on the same day as the previous part of this video. Once I had chopped up my peppers and onions for my sausage and peppers, I am one who I like to meal prep veggies. I don't like chopping veggies every single day, but I don't mind doing it in large time chunks. I'll turn on music and I'll just jam out while I am chopping my large amounts of veggies and putting them in bags for meal prep. So I have my celery, some carrots, and some onions going into a bag that way. On the day that I make this, 
I can just throw it all in the crock pot and it'll be good to go. So I knew I'd be doing this on a day that I was going to be working because I'd be out of the apartment all day. So I had all of this ready to go. I'm not a morning person. And I don't mean that in a way of when I wake up, I'm grumpy until I have coffee. I just mean I like to sleep as late as possible. So I have worked out exactly how long it takes me to get ready in the mornings and exactly how long it takes me to get work, get to work at a reasonable time with a few minutes to spare in case there's some sort of unexpected traffic or anything. And I will sleep until about 15 minutes before that point. That way I can wake up slowly and just scroll social media and then get ready for work. So I've got that down to a science. Cooking in the mornings, not something I regularly do, but since I do want to start using the slow cooker a little bit more because I think it will help me to get homemade meals on days when I work odd hours, I decided let me see if I can work this out. So I prepped all my veggies in advance so that when I woke up in the morning, all I had to do was this right here. And if you don't have time to sear your meat, that's fine. It's not a necessary step, just like with the sausage. It just adds a little bit of extra flavor and seals in some of the juices there. So I seasoned mine before I threw it in here with the Montreal steak seasoning and a little bit of salt because this was a pretty big piece of meat. This was about two and a half pounds. And after I cooked it, I did put some of it in the freezer because if you can't tell by the name of my channel, I cook for one. It is just me. So I try to freeze things when I can, if it's something that is harder to do in a smaller batch. And this was just easier to make it and then put the cooked version in the freezer instead of chopping up the raw meat. So I just seared it on each side after I had coated it in my Montreal steak seasoning. Also, I had let it sit out of the refrigerator for about 20 minutes because I happened to wake up before my alarm this morning. Uh, so I had time to get up and take it out of the fridge before I got ready for work. And then after I was ready, I just put everything in here. I put some beef broth, some Lipton onion soup mix. I had the Kroger version on top of all my veggies and just kind of stirred the seasoning in, went to work, got home nine and a half hours later and it was ready and it was glorious. So all I'm doing here is picking out all of my veggies and my meat. You don't have to do this. When my dad used to make this, he did not, well, he would fish it out for serving purposes, but he did not make gravy out of the sauce. He would just kind of pour the sauce over the plate. Also, the way my family would do this, uh, it was potatoes were in with it, but I prefer mashed potatoes and gravy. So I took all of my veggies out. I made a slurry with cornstarch and water, equal parts cornstarch and water, and then whisked it in. Also my camera died at this point, so I had to switch over to my phone. This is what my meat looked like, and that was the perfect texture for me. It fell apart really easily. I served it with some pre-made mashed potatoes, and this was so good. I'm definitely gonna make this more this winter. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I will have the playlist linked down below as well as Tiffany and Jessica's channel so you can check those out if you haven't already. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you're here from the playlist, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can stick around and join my YouTube family here. And thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.